Hello, this is Big G Baby, and welcome back to Let's Play Breath of Fire 2! Since last time, I changed my setup as I have listed in the video description. Mostly, I just changed the shamans around to the way I had them before. And with Stun, I removed the speed shoes because in his ultimate transformation, he doesn't need the help. But I'm holding on to the speed shoes for later because if once Ryu gains enough levels, I can get his vigor high enough to make a difference, actually. So I'll give him the speed shoes there. For now, I just want to make sure that Aspara has enough vigor to be faster than Ryu, so that way she can use the Ari shield on him and have him attack in the same round there. So let's head on back into the Abyss Tower, this time to the end. Well, not all the way to the end, but we're not coming out anytime soon. Okay, now with this battle, now that I've got Sten in his genie form, I have the option of skipping those guys because I haven't gotten him up to level 33 yet. So defeating them is not guaranteed at this point. So I would just avoid fighting them until later. Really, game? Really? That's a 1 in 256 drop, if I recall correctly. It's Rand's more ultimate than ultimate armor. Not that it's that great. But it is the best thing that he's got in the entire game. So, I guess if you're using him, go ahead, put it to use. I think Lin can equip it too, for some reason. Now, as you can see, since I don't have Sten in his monkey form, I can't use that shortcut up there. But I can get the Light Brace, which is basically like a ribbon in the game. It makes you immune to just about every status ailment. I know I don't think it works against instant death, and I don't know about debuffs. Like slow or attack down. Whatever those spells are called in this translation. I'm not worried about him, though. Holy cow. This encounter raid is kicking my ass. I've already got the chest to the right, which contained a buster bow. Now, at this point... At this point, I want to take this path, not because it takes us to the end, but this treasure chest is... It's always going to be out of the way, no matter what you do. Okay, now that I've gotten Stan up to level 33, let's put his new INFERNO spell to use there. That's a tier 3 fire elemental spell, and that'll pretty much guarantee that I can kill them before they get a turn to use instant death on me. Although I do gotta keep an eye on Sten's AP, so that way he has the 20 AP to be able to cast it. But yeah, that's one of the big reasons why I've got Sten in my party, and I consider him to be a tier 1 character here. He's not as obscenely powerful as, like, Bosch there, but he's still really, really good. But alright. So yeah, that was just a branching path. But I figured this was the quickest way to get all the way over there. Now, before going into that room back there... Game? Okay, well, let's see. Oh, I've already fought these guys before, but... Well, for those who don't remember... Let's see, these guys have really high defense and magic defense. So, the way you want to take them out is either with Slice, if you've got it, or you could use the Emperor Edge to work around their otherwise perfect man magic immunity. I wish I could get perfect magic immunity, but I can't. Oh well. But what do we get here? Hey! hey! I have no idea what that is, or what the name means, but I do know it's as far as ultimate weapon, or at least as far as stuff you can find or buy goes. Okay, now we want to get back to that room. All 
Oh, well, I don't really need that now, but thanks anyway. I suppose I could have bought two of them earlier and then equipped the third one that we find here, but money's really no object at this point. And it's not like it was from a manila shop or something. I don't think it was anyway. I forget, it's been a while since I actually bought those things. By the way, we're on the other side of the floor here from where we entered it before, but as you can see, that long winding path would have been really out of our way, even more so than where it is now. But all right, we get another stat boosting item there. Oh, I got a stamina up too? I must have gotten that from one of the, the enemies around here. Huh. Well, not that it's a big deal, but it's there. Might as well take what you can get. And this is the straightforward half of the dungeon, viewers. <laughs> well, let's see what we get here. Oh, that's also known as the hero armor. At least in the official translation. Yeah, those two, they're good, but... I'm not going to use them. I got better stuff. Well, at least they give you something in the event that you don't know where all those manila shops are. Okay, well, now we got two of these guys. So, yeah, let's show a little different strategy here. This time around, I want Ryu to use the death ring on them. Because if they, even if they attack him, he doesn't have a shaman form to lose. So, I don't care if he takes a whole bunch of damage. So just go with the instant death there, have everyone else defend, and then have Aspara get shield going. If you don't have shield for Aspara, you could have Bosh equip or cast it too. But he might take if they both gang up on him, he's probably gonna lose his shaman form. But usually that doesn't happen. In fact, I've never seen that happen. They'd have to get, like, crits, too, to really deal enough damage. He's got enough HP. He should never lose his shaman form. Not to mention we're fast. Faster than all the enemies here, too. Once you get up to 120 speed, nothing other than those Ganymedes is going to be faster than you are. But all right, we get a new weapon there. Let's see, that's not even a very good weapon. Let's see. Yeah, it's just a vanilla weapon there. I, I wouldn't even bother using it with Ryu. Okay, now we get need to get to the center area. See, I guess that scimitar would be better than the demon sword we found. Or if you didn't find that emperor sword earlier. Or anything that would have been better than that. A lot of weapons would have been better than that for Ryu. Although I suppose there's nothing viable that's better than that. I don't think. Maybe I I'm probably forgetting a shop or something. Well, at least these floors are quick and easy. How much more mazy could this place possibly be? <laughs> Holy cow. Calm down, game. You know, speaking of the encounter rate, there's an accessory you can equip called the Holy Scarf that supposedly reduces the encounter rate. I don't know if it actually works. But I heard it doesn't work in areas where the encounter rate is really hyperactive like this. But alright, we got a new enemy there. Daedalus. Or Daedalus, or however you want to pronounce it. Let's see, that guy can cast Might, but that's about it. Also known as the Attack Up spell. Let's see, Daedalus is really slow, so we should be able to outrace it, but let's see. 
it has perfect magic defense, so you're not going to get any uh, debuffs to go through or, like, reduce his defense or whatever there. But I do want to take out those two Ganymedes. Awesome. Yeah, don't even bother having Sten trying to use Slice against them. And at least not in this case. Oh, we took a little damage, but nothing we can't handle. Awesome. Let's see, I think this is the penultimate floor of the first half of the dungeon. But alright, yeah, let's heal up there. So yeah, they got a whole bunch of these platforms around here. And although it looks like you might be able to go from one to another, there's a lot of, well, walls in the way there. You can't just hop down to another level. It's kind of divided... It's kind of divided into quadrants here. But alright, another Sun Mask, if you didn't pick them up earlier. Or you didn't know where the Manila shop was. So let's see, we need to get to the northeast quadrant of the area here. Ah, there it is. For a moment, I thought I took a wrong turn. Ooh, the Undying Ring. I wonder what that does. Oh, that's the Immortal Ring for Nina there. But here we get the Shadow Stitch Knife, which is almost as strong as what Sten has now, but you can use it as an item in battle to cast the Slow Spell. So that's pretty nice. So, yeah, let's put that at the top of the inventory. There'll be times when I want to use it. Not in the first half of the dungeon, but soon enough, viewers. Okay, the Immortal Ring can be used as an item in battle to cast Renew. And there we get a... I think that's an accessory. Oh, yeah, that's that uh, Dream Bracelet in the original translation. It has a weird effect. I'm not sure how to describe it. Well, there's a new weapon for Rand there. Let's see, that one... The final blow can inflict instant death on an enemy sometimes, just randomly there. And let's see... What was the other thing? Oh yeah, the Dream Bracelet. It has some sort of weird effect. We some people call it random immunity, where if an enemy casts a spell on you, you might just randomly be immune to it or something. I'm not really sure how that works, but I never bother with it anyway. But what do we got here? What do you mean? Oh, yeah, I suppose. Ah, okay. So you see the uh, big shot around here? Hey, okay. how's it going? Savior of the world here. Ah, oh, okay, yeah, sure. How bad could it possibly be? What are you guys even doing here? I thought this was where, like, the bad guy was sealed up or something. Oh, well, for those who don't know, Miria, they even translated it that way in the official translation. Uh, Miria, for whatever reason, is just a different translation for Tyr, the goddess of destruction in the first game. Oh, what's that? I thought we took care of her in the first game. What's going on? Is Ganon going to return again? Probably. Oh, okay. Nuts. Like a truck full of cancer. Holy cow! Look at all those random battles I got into today. 
Well, thank you for not strobing the screen flashing like that. Ah, that's a weird name, but okay. I thought the Dark God's name was Evans or something or other. Oh, well, why is that? Oh. Formless! Formless! Oh, so this was the thing that we saw during the intro there. Oh, okay. How do you have this whole tower, like, dug into the ground like this? Maybe it just, I don't know, fell down there. Mm sank into the swamp and then they built another one and that one sank into the swamp but then the fourth one stood up and we built a town on top of it well not these guys but ah so what do you guys do while you're waiting gambling oh nuts well then Well, so, should I just join you in waiting? Ah, nuts. Even himself? Nuts. He has? Well then, why haven't I seen him yet? No pressure or anything! The fate of billions rests in your hands. Ooh, yeah! Or you could do that. Oh. Well, good luck! <laughs> yeah, I'm glad I'm not the fated child! Hey, all right. So, you got any, like, legendary weapons or equipment or advice? Any knowledge of his weakness? Or anything remotely useful to help me take him down? Find out next time on Let's Play Breath of Fire 2. This is H.G. Bailey, signing off. Have a good day.